Hi everybody, good evening. I'm continue doing a Affinity Battle and Core. Now they release all of them now. Uh, I'm doing which one? Dark Encryption. Okay, they give us straight uh, the IP for it. So we can just. No, this one I was busy now testing some stuff before I was doing the video. So let's go straight to the web. Uh, now we get it tells us it's a PGP encryption tool. Enter the text. If you end, for example, test, we have a couple of some bytes or something. And then, of, of course, when encrypt, it gives us encryption things. So you, you do different things. So where is my network? You can test something. So basically, whatever you test, it come here. So now the question is, Void managed to talk to hack into dark matter's internet network. I don't think they use it much, but we found this encryption tool host in the server. Let's see if we can find anything interesting lying around. This is a web uh, task. Usually when there is, there is a form like that, is try to test them what exactly you can do with them. It's like you can trick them by error, SQL injection, whatever it is, or a command injection or something. You see no exception fails, so you know, so this, it it has problem, it has, a, it, it's, it's not data because this application is clearly, you send the data, there is some kind of uh, a script that do the encryption of the text but the filtering is not filtering and checking and if it's not checking like is happening here you can see the failure so no more text we go straight because the, the common things whenever the application is wherever the characters that you send to them if they drop like that error it mean it mean there is uh, it's not um, they call it user input is not uh, clear um, checked so now you have a high chance in what they call it uh, command injection attack. There is this one, uh, Swiss repo, is a whole lot of bench of these things that, uh, for different scenario and things like that. But this is room is easy, like easy room, so we don't want to go too much complex about it. We test the basic one. The basic one is always because it's doing encryption, you you stop that uh, the first encryption whatever he was doing and then you just tell him uh, let's test something, uh, I want to test something what happened if in the pound key you see now uh, if you do that you, you because we stop, we're not giving it data it's already tell you what it is doing so it is a, it is a python script called inc enc.py you give him a value, uh, the receipt, which means this one, and then the text. So it means the problem here is when you put there and you select this, so basically it flip. You can even uh, play with it. For example, I can say uh, inspect, go to network. Let's play with these things. It's a post. Uh, it's a post request in uh, this one. If I say edit, edit a resend. Let's let me. Do I have an idea? Onto this something. So if I send this there, so the response would be there. So if I send, for example, uh, this is how how it sent. It sent like that. So a text input. Uh, wherever we put in value here, if I send this. And he sent there, it gave me the encryption that we have here. So how about this receipt? If I give him a wrong receipt, for example, wh what he will do? Invalid receipt selected, so he can kill this. So it, uh, okay, that one is not dead end. You can't control that. So how about we, we try to trick it in, in front there? So so. Is not uh, giving error, so the receipt he check it very well, but it doesn't check the the input. If input he put that funny characters, he he go back to errors. No, because he control this first before that. 
so we could now, so we know it's injection command, so we know it's dead end there so the basic things when you do injection command, you just close the, the command, so tell him the first one was he's trying to do that sign because it means end let's say try to the ls, the simple things and guess what we got, exactly you got what you want, you get up py up things and then you got the flag, so basically if I want to just get the flag, it's just cat, uh, just stop cat flag.txt and of course you can get the flag like that but that's not finished let's play around it uh, for example you can say uh, who am I for example let's say id let's see because this is like a broken up so we, we can do all of them so you can do many comments in the same time so if I can say we have ally now we can say uh, how about to get shell for example if I say ls uh, minus la home who is the user in this machine uh, sorry so we have Ubuntu as the user now and we are Ubuntu so we can do um, uh, ls minus la home ubuntu uh, dot ssh keys for example if I want what what we found? We found authorized key, so we know we have an idea. We can just get to our machine. I can say ssh um, key key gen generate a normal key as the error no password. Let's say cut ssh get our id no uh, id rsa the public key. We can copy this public key, for example, and I can just do echo there. No, sorry. Uh, we need to close it first and say echo, for example, uh, go to uh, home Ubuntu dot SSH. I can go, for example, where is that authorized keys? Uh, put it there and then we can just cut it on to confirm that we went there so if I go encrypt that don't worry about it so we can just do there control z cut if I cut there let's see if we, we are cool there you see this is ours my IP there so if I go now uh, ssh minus i dot ssh I can use my id rsa then no my rsa at ubuntu at 10 dot 10 what's the ip machine dot 11 dot 67 we should go without passwords because we should log straight in it and now we are inside the machine uh, we can go to var w ls and then cd web app and we can go there if I go cut I can see the flag file fine and that's uh, and you can see the the script that he was encrypting so this is the script that he was doing now let's play something else let's get share share for example nc minus lvmp 900 uh, sorry So we can go here to attack box, you can reverse shell generate as this one. I'm checking now, let's use my IP address. Uh, 2193 is my IP. Usually the one that always works when you don't you don't have time to test, just use this one. So if I go there, uh, to not this one, go to the machine, uh, I can select anything here, I can just say close and then paste the thing and encrypt and should we get shell now through the ls now we got shell who am i uh, who am i id ubuntu and we can do we can't go to root that's of course the root it's uh, can't see the root we not sure if we can but this is the the, the file that we, we've been doing it here 
and then we can see the, the um, I think it's uh, key directory. This is the keys in one app. I didn't see the keys. Where are the keys? Let's steal everything. CD keys ls and that's the keys that he was. Let's cut one of them. Cypher. And then that's the key that he, he closed with. So yeah, guys. Thank you very much. I hope you like it. So this one is about uh, command injection. Yeah. To see you in the next one. Did they put the flag? I didn't put the flag. Where is my flag? Let's get it. Um, I'm already out of the shell. Let's let me get my flag. Where is it? Uh, it's supposed to be where? Get flag.txt. Yeah, that's the flag. And then you can just get the flag. Yeah. So thank you guys very much and uh, have a good day.